Hello, and thank you for joining me. During these difficult times, I thought it would be a good idea for me to share with you a very simple meditation. This meditation is about focusing and finding balance. Now, as you know, I think meditation is all about learning how to focus the mind. Because most of our minds are like a monkey mind. It will jump around, it will dive off into the future, it's like a mischievous monkey swinging through the trees. And meditation is one powerful way of bringing that mind under some control, particularly when we're approaching and in the middle of a tornado in our life or in our emotions. Very good to be able to learn this very simple technique I'm going to share with you today. So with meditation, don't think you have to learn complicated physical positions. You have to cross your legs, sit with a straight back. You can just find a comfortable chair now with me. You can lie on the floor, you can lie on the bed. Just be comfortable. Because if we're trying to focus the mind, we don't want the mind to be distracted on physical pains or tightness. We want the opposite. We want to be totally relaxed, totally focused, totally in control. Because meditation is about learning how to control your mind so your mind does not control you. And that control comes from Wu Wei. That flow, finding your flow. And this is what I want to share with you today. So take your time and when you're ready, find a comfortable chair, or as I say, lie down, if that's more comfortable for you. Before we get started, it's always a good idea to take a nice, big, deep breath. And as you breathe out, just drop your shoulders and just give yourself a moment. And this is what I call being the observer. Just as you're sitting now quietly and we're sharing this time together, notice any noise outside. Perhaps you've left the radio on in the other room or perhaps you need to shut the door. This is the time to go and do that. Perhaps you'd like a blanket to put over you. It's a good idea to put a blanket over your head. And you can do that now. And while everybody gets comfortable, just do a nice, long, deep breath again. Expand your chest and then slowly breathe out. And right away, you're becoming more focused. That's good. And before we start any meditation, I'd really like to share with you what I always do. I call it the scan. I start at the very top of my head and slowly scan down through my body. And I'm looking for any tightness, any restrictions, any muscles that I can relax on a very superficial level. Shall we do that together? Starting at the top, just scan down. And if you want to close your eyes and rest your eyelids, that's fine. Scan down through your neck and just check and make sure your neck is nice and loose. And there's no tension. And if you hear those little clicks as you move your head around, that's good. You're releasing toxin. Drop your shoulders. Relax your chest. If you like that idea of a nice, long, deep breath. That's good. Relax the chest. Scan down through your rib cage. You can sway from side to side and stretch out your ribs. You see how simple is it? Same with your lower back. Relax your lower back. Relax the cheeks of your bottom. Normally they're really tight, like bullets. Just see if you can relax them. And relax down through your legs and your knees. 
Particularly, this is important if you have any lower back pain or knee pain. Relaxation can really help that pain soothe and calm. Relax down through your calf muscles, through into your feet and your toes. And could you, with your eyes closed, identify each toe on both feet? That's good. This is you being mindful. And then I'd like to work our way back up the body. But this time I'd like you to go a level deeper. So now you're looking more at joints and ligaments. Perhaps your ankle joint. Imagine looking at your ankle joint through an x-ray machine and see if you can go around the joint and free up any tension and relax that joint. And the more you do this, the better you become. Come up through the Achilles. Deep into the calf muscle this time. Come up into the knee, the cartilage and free off any tightness in your knee. And then work your way up through the glutes, up through the gluteus maximus, back up into your lower back. And free off across your lower back. It's called the iliac crest and your hips. And I'm encouraging you to shuffle around until you find that really relaxed, focused position. Doing good. And now we work our way up through the spine and see if you can find that natural curvature of your spine. It goes in towards the waist, out between your shoulder blades and back in again to your neck. Now take a moment and get the neck positioned correctly into your shoulders. And then we work our way right to the top of the head, right to the highest point in your head. It's called the bow hoop point. And now we've done our scan we can begin the meditation relaxed focused and balanced and from the bow who point just imagine drawing a center line like a core coming down behind your eyes behind your nose and we're looking for an energy center here and you may call it your third eye. I call it the upper dantian. Close your eyes and focus right in the center of the head. And it's okay to be a little bit unsure. If you could imagine turning the energy around and around like stirring a cup of tea or coffee until you're brought into the center. And there's the upper dantian. Good. And just continue down behind the nose and the mouth and through the center of your throat. And now as you drop into the chest, we're coming through the center of the body. And we're looking for the middle dantian. You may call it your heart chakra. Same again, take your time. You're just doing this for you. Find that middle energy. And when you've found it, see if you can connect the middle dantian to the upper dantian. And that strengthens the center core. 
and then continue down between the rib cage. That's good. Between the hips. And deep into the abdomen. And now we're looking for the lower dantian. You may prefer the name gut feeling, intuition, inner knowing. Can you find that place? Take your time. Center yourself. And your best guess is good enough. And then connect the three Dantians together. Upper, middle, lower. And when you have that center line, now you can think more about balance. First of all, physical balance, your posture. Using the center line as the guide, just bring your head into that balance. Not too far forward, not too far back, neither left nor right. And you're looking for that sweet spot when the head is just in the right position. If you're resting your head on a pillow, let the weight of the head be supported by the pillow. And this sweet spot is Wu Wei in your flow. And just take a moment to notice how much better that feels. Could you relax more? Could you be more focused? It's almost as if you're observing yourself. And as you find that flow, do you notice how your emotions settle? How you become calmer? It's a good feeling. Using the center line again, we're doing the same this time for the shoulders. Checking that one shoulder is not higher than the other. We're not too far forward or too far back. We're just looking for that sweet spot. And then using the center line as the guide, you can do this for the whole of your body. So the left and the right hand side are mirroring each other. And be happy to adjust and readjust. There's only you that's judging this for you. What feels good for you? Same with your hips. The same with your legs in whatever position you've chosen today. Relax, balance, harmony. Good. Then when you're ready, we're going to do the same, but this time with the breath. Using the center line as your guide, just imagine breathing in, down through that center core. And what you're looking for is a calm, relaxed, focused breath. You can become the observer again. Lying quietly, physically balanced, observe your breath entering and leaving your body. Notice how the breath and the body are cooperating, working together. This is you being natural. This is you being focused. 
This is you being calm. And as you observe, could you naturally breathe a little deeper? Breathe a little calmer. And as you're doing that, notice how your eyelids grow heavier, as though you're going into a, a peaceful sleep mode. You're totally in control, but you're very relaxed. You're very focused. And as your eyelids gently close, Notice the muscles around and behind your eyes. You're totally in control, but you relax those muscles as in a deep, peaceful sleep. And you can release and relax all of your facial muscles. Your cheek and your cheekbones. Relaxing down into your jawline. And releasing any tension in your jaw. So your teeth are not clenched. Throat and mouth are moist. But now very relaxed. And from the chin, we can work our way back up. We're working our way back up to the temples, but find your root. Is it up around the side of your head, your ears, relaxing any tension in your neck? And then bring your attention to your temple area. And just pause. Focus on your temples for a moment. Focus on being in this now, right now. Check your breathing, check your balance, adjust if you need to. And from the temples, we can come across the forehead and be aware of those muscles you use when you frown. You know, sometimes when we get caught up in worry and fretting, when we start thinking about what ifs, what could, what may be. Just take a breath and relax those muscles in your forehead. And imagine like a big iceberg or a big chunk of ice. And slowly begin to melt the ice. Relaxing deeper. Ice to water. Water to steam. Steam evaporate. Let it go. And breathe and blow it away from you. Then from your forehead, we're going to go up and over the top of the head. We're on the acupuncture meridians of the gallbladder now. 
These are the meridians that get involved with headaches, migraines, strain. So just go across the top of the head very gently. Being focused, being balanced, relaxing all of that tension. And down the back of the head and into the larger neck muscles. Can you find them? They've kept your head proud and erect and strong. So let's see if we can help them. Let's see if we can help them relax much deeper. On your next out breath, as you breathe out, drop your shoulders, relax your biceps, relax through your elbows, your wrists, your hands, your fingertips. Each fingertip and thumb. Release all that tension. Be focused. Be in this moment. Be balanced. With your shoulders dropped, notice around and beneath your shoulder blades. Relax all that tension. Notice how easy the breathing is now. With your chest relaxed, you can breathe much deeper, much calmer, much more focused. You can relax your rib cage. and become aware of the spaces between your ribs. They're called the intercostal spaces. And those spaces can kind of guide you from the front of your body, around the sides of your body, and into your back. And if you focus, you'll notice the energy wants to turn up again. So we're traveling up now to the base of the neck again but slowly, controlled. Because as you move up your back, it gives you this wonderful opportunity of a spinal stretch. So all together, head goes one way, coccyx goes the other way. We stretch, move the head forward, and then slowly breathe out. And just let your body come back to a natural, organic position. Give yourself a few moments. Listen as your body speaks to you. Notice any tension, any tightness. That could be in your muscles, in your joints, or internally. And as you breathe out, let go of that tightness. You are not designed to hold on to things. Let it in and then let it out. Just like the breath. Breathe in with love. Breathe out with gratitude. And so from the base of the neck, we're going to work our way down the vertebrae of your spine, as though you're looking at it through an X-ray machine. Just mindfully come down from the nape of the neck, between the shoulder blades, into the waist. And now we're looking for the five lumbar vertebrae. Can you find them? Rise at the base of your spine. Give them lots of space. And now we're gonna count off those five lumbar vertebrae together. One, two, three, 
four and five and come right to the tip of the fifth lumbar vertebrae. And now we're looking for our coccyx. Can you find it? Right to the tip of the coccyx. And then notice how close you are to your lower dantier, right on the center line. Hop over onto the lower dantier and breathe down into your lower dantier. And center yourself here. Almost as if you've come home into your intuition and gut feeling. And we're going to return here in a few moments. But for now, we'll finish the physical relaxation and balance, relaxing down through the legs, each of the muscles. Relaxing around your knees and your cartilage. And let the natural healing of the body work for you. Continue down through your calf muscle and into your ankle. And finally through your feet and into your toes once more. This is you being balanced. This is you being focused. This is you being in control of your mind. And then when you're ready, we return home to the lower dantian, right on that center line. Find your point of balance. Breathe deep into the lower dantian. Place one hand on top of the other and just rest your hands over your abdomen. And just experience your natural balance and harmony. Notice how your hands gently rise and fall as you breathe deeply. Observe how the monkey mind is now quiet and you're in control. When you're practicing this by yourself, you can stay here as long as you like. But for now, we're going to move our hands over the middle dantian, the heart chakra. And just rest our hands gently on this point. With your hands here, you can practice the inner smile. You just allow the corners of your mouth and your eyes to turn upwards and smile deep into your heart. Now you're focusing on sending yourself love. 
Now you're balanced. Your body can receive that love. Peace, harmony. As you breathe deeper, you relax. And you can get the heart to smile back to you. Like a deep connection, a calmness, a peace. And with that smile, like dropping a pebble into a pond, the ripples of the smile can go right through every organ, healing, balancing, heart, lungs, stomach, spleen, liver, gallbladder, kidneys, every major internal organ. And we call them vital organs. But it's very rare we think of them. Until now. Smiling. Peaceful. Until all of the organs smile back like a classroom of giggly children. In balance. In focus. You are awesome. You are an amazing spiritual person. It's good to be with yourself. It's good to see the power of focus and balance. and never pull away until you're ready. When you are ready, you just let your hands come back down into a restful place. Take a nice long deep breath, drop those shoulders. And before we finish, just as we started, just do a gentle, quick scan down through your body, picking up any last bits of tightness and work your way back up. And as you work your way back up, I'll count to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And you can open your eyes and give yourself a good shake out. Nice big deep breath. Thank you very much for sharing that meditation on focus and balance. And just at the moment through this pandemic, we're doing two meditation classes a week. So please join us on a Wednesday evening and a Sunday evening, 7 p.m. UK time. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Please practice that yourself. Stay in the positions as long as you want to stay in that's right for you. And I think you'll notice this great benefit of being focused and being balanced. So until we meet again, please take care of yourself and your loved ones. Yi Dao, Chi Dao.